What's up everybody, my name is The Holy Apple and welcome back to Two Guys One Anime. So this time we are carrying on with Final Fantasy 16 and just to kind of recap what happened in the last part, we pretty much had a face off with Ifrit, I suppose you can call it. It was kind of like a doppelganger in a way and we basically tamed the power of Ifrit. So we now have a new ability where I think if I do like both button clicks in for L3 and R3, if I remember right, uh, I can just have like this semi Ifrit mode is probably the best way to describe it. I'll end up using it at some point in the combat, but anyway, we're back into the actual overworld now. We are pretty much going to go do a lot of side quests, is what I'm going to imagine, because we're heading back through the town that we went through. Torgle, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Now, I say that, and uh, I, get, I now have the sort of feeling that the village has been burned down or being attacked, so probably not going to be doing side quests. We'll just have to wait and see, I suppose. So, what is Torgal angry about? Can't hear any noises, so we'll just have to wait and see what is going on. It's got to be on. The town's going to be on fire. I mean, yeah, it's pretty much on fire. <laughs> what happened here? Didn't even get a chance to have a drink. Jesus. You'll pay for this. Bro, literally all of you are on the floor. You think it's a really good idea to try and fight me? <laughs> Remember our orders? No survivors. Wow, okay, so it's literally a kill squad. Remember the button to lock on, it is L1. There we go, limit break. So this is actually confirmed as the limit break ability then. I'm quite surprised he's still alive actually, so just impaled him. I will slowly like get back into the hang of everything. Cause, like, unless I literally play the next part straight away, I'm rusty. It's pretty much the same with any game I play. Nope. Oh, cheers. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Literally cutting down my own dog at this point. Okay. That's enough. Okay. Die, please. Full limit break. Why not? Get hit by lightning from somewhere now. <laughs> I love that. Just kick him up and then slash him. There is no mantle in this game. You need to remember that. God, that was through the head. What are you doing over here? How many enemies are in this area? Yeet! There are too many of you, I'm going to admit that right now. I would love to just transform into Ifra and then I can get this over and done with. Let me up. Right, 
Is that all of them? <laughs> Meanwhile, she's got blood all over her face. I'm assuming this isn't a long cutscene, but it is a boss. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. Okay, so I know who I'm going after next then. I mean, like, why wouldn't she? The stagger damage when you're in this limit break form is nuts. I'm backing up. Okay, that was a wise idea. Maybe trying to dodge a bit more would be a better idea. Spin. Did not expect the second one. I'll just use this instead. <laughs> Get some nice healing out of it. And up a cut. I will swap Gorge out at some point. Dude, he's tanky. I'll give him that. Now I'm staggering. You're not going to do another one of them. You will do no such thing, my friend. One way to finish it. I would like to see if I can craft some better gear though, because I feel like my gear is slowly starting to slip away. But the thing is I've got a purple sword, that's why I don't want to change it, because it feels like it's a good sword. Anyway, it's probably a proper cutscene now. I'm sorry, Lady Anna. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Ah, <laughs> oh, we're too late, Gav. Clive. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them. When the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. 
And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kuka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but if you were to randomly do that in the middle of a town full of dead people and pretty much allied forces, you're going to get spotted in seconds. So how he's not been spotted blows my mind. And I can only imagine that we're now leading them back to Sid, so we probably have a big fight on our hands. I wonder if um, Titan's going to get involved, actually, because uh, Titan was actually in one of the cutscenes, and he's very angry at Sid. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see if Titan shows up or not. I, I'd like to think he won't, but honestly, you never know. I keep forgetting there's a Moogle here. How did you... whatever. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. 
Without their yield, we'll be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the Black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Your radiance? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, well, yeah, well, I, 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 <laughs> the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea. Sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your Radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But 
The mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem? Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well, I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out and say it now. More than a few potions for this. We're fully stocked, it's fine. Um, no items available. Okay, so I'm gonna go check if I can watch four stuff. Um, yeah, Sid's voice. Honestly, it probably could do with not being as heavy. Like, don't get me wrong, it's a good voice. But I feel like somebody who looks like Sid should have a bit of a lighter voice. That's just my opinion. I could be completely wrong, but again, as a result, if you disagree with me, let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear. Right, flip. Oh, much better sword. Brilliant. That's exactly what I've been looking for. So, uh, the good thing is I can just pretty much craft it straight away. It's actually the upgraded version from Stormcry, which is really cool. If I do say so myself. You give me special stuff. Imperial Capital. Or there. Oh, holy cap. You said Imperial Capital a minute ago. We're gonna blow it up. I'll probably blow it up anyway. I might as well buy the one high potion. Just to fill it out. I've still got 25,000 guilds sitting there. Like, I've got no need to actually do anything with the money at the minute. Well, I don't think there's anything I can sell either. It's literally nothing. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it's in Tyre's Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Okay. You could just ask nicely, instead of uh, making it sound like you want me to piss off. Like, that would have been better. Right, why are you grumpy? So you're really going through with it? Yeah, why not? I've been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known it. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. No, we're going to smash it in mother crystal. the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. Look, worst, worst case scenario, we'll break one. Really annoy a lot of people. Nothing changes and then we don't do it again. <laughs> that's pretty much the worst case scenario in this game. This time, do you Another war. 
or as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, it's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is that's the idea. To the capital, that's the problem. Yeah, be fine. Point. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Ooh. I might just know of a way. There's. Talk about? Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who will see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a stylus in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. Just That's get me through the chip point and everything is fine. Who is this dame and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Veil. Vale. Anything that's been called the Veil, vale, like, you know what I mean. in my experience, Norman. is never a good thing. Right. <laughs> For one reason or another. I'll you know with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. You dirty old man. Anyway. What are you looking at me for? Alliance reports unlocked. Uh, these reports compiled by the curse breakers contain information on quests currently available. Okay. Is there like additional info for what I'm going on to then? Hello. Ah. Goat, uh, it's, uh, Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the, reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. So they're basically like bounties, if anything. Welcome, to committee, and dying on the vine. We'll go and have a look. We'll see if that hunch is correct. You, what's wrong? Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I couldn't trouble you, it depends. Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to commit. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. They're probably. T <laughs> so. Sure. I That'll do. Tell them this. I'll let them appreciate it. So, yeah, there's literally going to be like highlighting side quests by the looks of it. You, you're fine. Don't worry about it. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. Yes, you're normal here. Don't worry. My sister too. We're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Yes, get some nice food. <laughs> Even though I don't know what quantifies as nice food in Final Fantasy. <laughs> you stay here and rest. As long as like Marlboro is not like a delicacy, I think it'll be fine. But you never know. It's a wacky world we live in. Or even wackier than what the world that they live in. You, free food please. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. Bro, I would even pay it's for, for it. Me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. It's you on my face! <laughs> Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course. Oh, is. right, okay. Different mark. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought she literally meant the brand the mark on my face, but never mind. Guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. I'm taking all of it. I'm joking, I'm only taking what I need. <laughs> Bread and wine. I'm 
Hopefully this will be enough. Wine? Is he in a charity? You, well, actually, technically, it is a charity. Never mind. <laughs> I have bread and wine. Yeah. Why we're giving you wine, I will never know. <laughs> bread and wine from the tavern. Don't give it them. Just walk away. <laughs> Truly. No, I just decided to bring it to you just to rub it in your face. <laughs> oh place. God, they're drunk. Never in all my days. <laughs> Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I'm within reason. <laughs> Thank you. I imagine one day you're going to have to pull your weight, but that's about it. All that for 15 experience. And a guild book. Honestly, I don't know why you're giving me a guild book as a reward. You should just literally hold on to it. Because, like, I'm walking around with 25,000 gil. I think I'll be fine for money in the minute. <laughs> like, I don't actually know what to use it on. That's that's how bad it is at the moment. I've got the strongest gear I can possibly get at the moment. And I fall up on potions. And I'm not really interested in the other the stuff. How and why are you here? <laughs> Anyway, side quest. I, I, I want no trouble. Uh, okay, I'll leave. <laughs> wait, wait, that's oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. Hanged man. hanged man, hanged <laughs> man. Jesus Christ! You help me. His vineyard, Lost Wings' pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. Mm. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. Yes, yeah, so let me take my sword and we'll see what happens. For pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? <laughs> Please, rid us of these wasps so, so I can be about my business. Still one of the dodgiest lines you could ever heard in a video game. All you right. can handle that sword, can't you? I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. You guys depend on wine way too much. Have you ever heard of water? Water's a brilliant thing to drink. And it's everywhere, surprisingly enough. Actually, then again, maybe in the Final Fantasy universe, might not have a uh, clean water, or it might be rarer than most. No, they ha they literally have magic. I'm pretty sure they can just like magic water from ice. All right. Get over here. <laughs> Toggle, you're in the bloody way. Down to me. See, the thing about flyers is they're extremely weak, so it's just. It's one combo and then an execution thing, I suppose you can call it. That's like literally the dead every time. That was different though. I've never seen a rapid hit one. Do, do, do. Just because you're trying to fly away does not mean you're safe. Stomp on his head. Okay. Ooh. 
I'm so far away on bloody skill points. I need to get way more. Looks like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's man know. Yep. Side quest done. And then there's one more side quest to do, and then it's on to the capital. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. They all dead. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Oh, thank Arcantan you. Arcantan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work. A place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honour. <laughs> just save a bottle for me. And it, oh, actually, no, you don't do bottles in this uh, in Final Fantasy, do you? You just do kegs. So save a keg for me. I'm going to come back for one. <laughs> you have side quest. What is problem? Stunned. I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Maybe. Us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're going to kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, I'll believe No, you did the smart thing and ran like hell. <laughs> Sorry, no. <laughs> Alright. I'll see to your problem. Help us. Bandits are attacking Help this local right farm. There. Nah, I'm alright. <laughs> too fast to count. It's probably going to be like a ten. Nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, alright? You're talking to Ifrit, or the dominant for Ifrit, so... I think I'll be fine, thank you very much. If it was the Imperial Guard, on the other hand, that might have been a bit different story. But yeah, just some bandits aren't going to do much, really. Ah, golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Hello there. <laughs> oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you on it? Yeah, the thing with heavy swords is <laughs> just uppercut. Most of the health is gone. <laughs> thing with heavy swords is I could probably snap through your sword with a one swing. Love how they're not called bandits; they're just called inv uninvited guests. Yeet! Or straight into the fireplace. There's only two of them. I thought there was more. Unless they bolted out the door for some reason. I don't know. I was fully expecting like a small army. I'll be keeping my blade. Thank you. There he is, the hero of the Golden Stables. You could have told me those two. Spoke pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. I wasn't nearby. <laughs> In the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The blood axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the blood axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. Free items? There'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Yes, booze. We've got work to do for to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. I don't do mopping. The only kind of mopping I do is mopping up enemies. That's pretty much it. <laughs> You, side mission, what want? You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. You psychic, you, you wasn't saying anything. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing. I'm just surprised you had a hole in your bag and you never noticed. <laughs> that means no herbs infirmary and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost. 
It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour Storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No. I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Yay for more fetch quests. Fine. Are you serious? Yes, just point me in the direction and then let's go get this letter. Like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favour. Surely you'd notice the weight difference. Letter. You'll be saving my life. Because, like, we're not talking just a bunch of letters. We're talking, like, supplies. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Blows my mind sometimes. Hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't. It'll be fine. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. Swear to God, if you've got something, I'm gonna break your leg. <laughs> I'm just threatening the local people. <laughs> More of the lost supplies. I still definitely wonder how you did not like discover there was a big weight difference. Like these look like sacks with a bit of weight in them. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. You, do you have a letter? I swear to God. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm no, I'm here for a letter. Drop nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have. Sorry. Well. If you do. Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was a letter, <sighs> but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards, Towards town. Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. At least it's not out in the wild and it's not been blown away by the wind. That's something. I appreciate that you're trying to read the letter. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. And he's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. It might have dog saliva all over it, though. Torgal, stop blocking the way. Anyway, so that is... That's literally that side quest done. It is literally just a fetch quest. At least it's encouraging you to like use the world map and move around, which is good. I like Final Fantasy games that do that, but I don't know. I feel like ever since they've stepped away from the big open world map kind of things, it feel it doesn't feel like a Final Fantasy game as much anymore, even though they are still brilliant games. Like I think Final Fantasy 13, like with uh, Lightning. Like the first bit's all linear, but then you have like a huge open area, like towards the end of it. Like, the huge open area is really good. I don't suppose you um... found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Yeah, the dog had it. A little worse for wear. I'm going to give you the supplies, but I'm not trusting you with the letter anymore. <laughs> I'm taking it to Sid personally. <laughs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. And all thanks to you. Fix your damn backpack. Losing I'm not doing this again. One thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter, is it about curse breaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. Here's a daughter. She's off studying in Canver. And her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while mm, she's away. Enough. You never mentioned a daughter. Oh, well, he's a busy man. 
And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Well, I mean, I'm taking him into battle, so this is probably a really good thing to do. Obviously, it's not going to mean anything in terms of the actual story, but... You know, head cannon and all that. Sid in a good mood means you're going to do well in battle. Pav, I swear I'll be with you very shortly. It's just that somebody else wants a goddamn side quest. Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? God damn it, Randall. Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. Thinking about Randall. About my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? For a time. Then I ask a favour of you. I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Sure. I'll do what I can. I can't help but notice I'm doing all this for free. Thank you. Well, besides loads of like items that I'm never gonna use. His name is Randall. And really? His name is Randall. It's not like you've said it twice already. <laughs> I'll speak to him. Okay. Talking to the innkeeper. Just... He's probably been attacked by some random monsters or captured by Imperials. We'll go find out. Ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the... I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though... Thinking about it, he he's been attacked out in the wild by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened. Um, I get a feeling he's been captured or he's been attacked. It's one of the two. Are you Randall? Hanged man. Thank the gods. Hanged man. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Oh, those guys. Reckless <laughs> sod insisted on drawing them off. Where did this happen? He might be Up dead. Down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do he might be can. dead. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Uh, just for the record, normally when it tells you to go and check on someone because someone else is going back to tell what, say what's going on, nine times out of ten, Goblins. they're still alive. Stab, 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 stab. I'll say I'm more interested in the big one if I'm being honest. I'm always expecting the second squ the second swing, but it's not going to happen. I'll just start doing precision dodges in your whirlwind if you get too close. <laughs>
Pretty sure I dodged that, but sure. Easy peasy. Now where is Randall hiding? Is the question. Oh, Randall. Mm. Okay, no, Randall is dead. There's no way he survived. <laughs> Deserve to rot by the right side. I'll speak to Quentin. Then pick him up. It's only one body. You have somebody with you. I, I swear there's like no common sense sometimes. Jesus Christ. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. Yeah, he did. And I can't help but notice you're alone. He did. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. Naturally. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. I am starting to wonder, can I just donate like 20,000 gil? Because I feel like that would be like... A really good amount of money for the hard way to have. Just randomly given 20,000 gil. Okay, you. Take me to the capital. Uh, well, someone's in a hurry. I'm, we're not, Just trust me. Orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fine day for a little mischief. Wouldn't you say? Yeah, let's get moving, please. We've already it's literally nice. wasted like half an hour doing side quests. <laughs> Just the three of us, then. Cap does not look happy. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. Yeah, there's three dominants here. <laughs> not being funny. Should that plan fail? Well, we have our icons to fall back on. Where's Gap doesn't? Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to... come and go as he pleases. It's fine. Ordinarily, Prime and Icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Well, he's still got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? And Garuda. Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. That too. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely yeah. to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northreach in a few days. You two behave now. Yes, Dad. <laughs> On we go. I'm going to try and get to the Royal Capital at least. So we're just going straight to the Lost Wing. I imagine there's probably a pathway out that I've not used yet. Make the most sense. So, we're meeting in Northreach. And will I find Sid and Jill before this Dane finds me? Yeah, up north. 
So I've never gone up north. Probably because there's like a gate or something that's been blocked up until now. So if I just literally head... See, Lost Wings are a really weird map because there's like a long walkway that is pretty much just a big wall, if anything. But they're like, like this wall, that's literally the wall there. But then everything under here is like bottom floor. So it's like really weird to navigate around. And that was north of the checkpoint. Uh, I hope the dame has friends in the south. Like a plum for the apple of your with reds, whites, the right to confiscate any objects. Ciders, Perry's. Yeah, wines, okay. <laughs> I was looking at reds and whites. I'm very confused at what you're selling. Branded, or you'll be spending the night in a cell. I'm, I'm not going to do it anyway. Yeet. <laughs> okay, it's not letting me. Search for the dame. Well, I imagine she'll be a. Nope, that's the thing. You be really. Uh, I imagine she'll be around here somewhere. Fishmonger. There's always a fishmonger. Hello? Is this you? I'll tell you what, I'll swap it to an actual cutscene, I think. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you? Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested, unless... Unless... <laughs> unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yeah. That will do nicely. But... I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? I think he needs to blow a whistle or something, because this is getting creepy. <laughs> Go on, get me through the gate. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But... It's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Bye. But I'm going to start swinging the sword and taking off God's heads if they start... Doing weird Heather. stuff. Back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. 
We don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Swear to God, you touched me, I'm taking your head off. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. I'm really pushing it, mate. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> if I did have business in the Holy Capital, I'd be taking your head off. <sighs> that wasn't so bad wasn't so bad they might have recognized me yeah i mean like we did walk up to them like two minutes ago without you had, they wouldn't have done anything about it the gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers we have an arrangement as do you and i now if you'd care to follow me god we can speak more at the veil why am i being taken to a brothel doesn't seem like i have much of a choice no, we don't. I can't exactly sprint off, like, even more north and go to the capital now. I've got to wait for Sid, for example. This looks more like a factory, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls okay. for a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. Looks pretty run down, I'm going to be honest. I expected more. <laughs> Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you, it's Isabel. Don't make me do dodgy stuff. I found you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh... I think it's something to do with the 15 years of Imperial War. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yeah, we're, first, we're the first one here. Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Ooh. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. No, I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do Yeah, they normally wind up dead if I'm being brutally honest. <laughs> Moon and stars. Proof of that trust. And hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Hmm. But this is another fetch quest, for sure. I should probably start here. Yeah. Um. I tell you what, I'm gonna do that in the next part because I feel like this has dragged on long enough with the side quests. So here's a good. I don't really want to like lead the story too much into the next part because if I do that, we're gonna get to the Holy Capital and we're gonna leave it off in a really awkward position. So. If I cut it here, and then focus the next part against the Holy Capital, the part after that should then be just action and violence everywhere. Hopefully, anyway. But that's going to be everything for this part. If you liked it, remember to leave a like down below. And also remember to subscribe as well, because we always have new stuff going on in terms of anime. Not to mention playthroughs like this on every Wednesday. And Ashori has his own playthrough of Judgment at the minute, which he is doing on Mondays. But for now, I shall see you all in the next video.